Straight ahead on WBKB, a missing man out of Oscoda. Plus, we'll take a look at the second biggest Christmas store in Michigan, and we'll take a look at your pets of the week. You're watching Thunder Bay News Network. WBKB News at 6 starts now. Live from Alpena, Michigan, this is WBKB 11 Evening News. With up-to-date and continuing coverage on local news, weather, and sports. These are the stories that matter and the news that affects you most. This is your local news team. You're watching WBKB 11 Evening News. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Hodge. The Escota Township Police is asking for the public's help in locating a missing man. 86-year-old John Thomas Kitchen, also commonly known as Tom Kitchen, was driving on Bessonette Road in Oscoda Township on Friday, December 9th. He was driving a red 2007 Ford F-150 with a bed topper and the back window completely gone. It should be noted this is not the actual truck. And it was reported that this car was Loc or was seen at a dealership in Oscoda on Saturday. Kitchen requires supplemental oxygen and daily heart medication. He's also an avid outdoorsman and often visits the Osaba River and surrounding forests. Anyone with information on where he might be is asked to call the Oscoda Township Police Department. Two more schools are announcing closures for the next couple of days. Due to sickness, Alpena Public Schools and All Saints Catholic Schools will be closed on Wednesday and Thursday. Speaking with the Director of Communications for Alpena, Lee Fitzpatrick, both students and staff, along with other people in the community, have cases of COVID, RSV, and the flu. Athletic events will still take place, but players and spectators are asked to stay home if they are sick. A YouTuber in Alcona started a GoFundMe with a goal to help people have food for the winter. She originally asked for $2,400, but exceeded $15,000 in just five days. Carter Landis visited them to get more on this story.